Hi BC, this is Aaron, Mitha Alamir, and today I am starting in with the M's in my collection, and the M's are a really good letter for a uh, hard rock and heavy metal, um, but it's also got a lot of like, you know, some blues, some pop, some uh, classic rock, you know, all kinds of stuff in here. Um, so I'll just get started here, and um, this is a band called the M's. They're an indie rock band. Pretty good band. Um, if you like indie, you know, this is a, a hip, heavy, uh, really thick, heavy vinyl here, 180 gram. Got some custom um, custom labels there. There's the inner sleeve. And you know, if you're into indie rock, this is pretty good stuff. Um, I don't listen to it a whole lot, but every once in a while, I'll throw it on. It's uh, I'm. Typically in the mood for some heavier stuff than that, but it's all right. And next up, I've got an artist I've never really cared for that much, but just in the years of accumulating records, you, you get stuff. Um, it's amazing. I never buy this on its own, but I've got them. So here's Madonna's first record. Of course, it's got like Borderline and what, Holiday and Lucky Star, you know. My sister is a big Madonna fan. Um, and Like a Virgin, probably her biggest seller, the title song, and Material Girl, whatever else is on there. The 12 inch of material girl and the 12 inch of who's that girl and then true blue popping out preach open your heart you know big selling record for her i also have um her immaculate collection um double record which i have as one of my prizes for my contest it's a sealed original copy of that um so that's one of my uh contest prizes if anyone's interested in the, the contest and here's a great great band this is mad season of course, Lane Staley from Dallas and Chains is uh, one of the two vocalists, and Mark Lanigan from Screaming Trees, and it's also got Mike McCready, the guitarist from Pearl Jam. It's a kind of a super group here, and this album is really good. It's kind of a, uh, it's a lot mellower than Alice in Chains, but it's it's really great. The Lane Staley's vocals are just so amazing. He's just such a great singer. He was, um, and you know, it's kind of a haunting, mellow. But if you're in the mood for something just to kick back and listen to, this album is so good. Amazing record. Highly recommend that one. Then I got some uh, Taj Mahal, great blues artist. There's Dust My Broom on here and Statesboro Blues, a few others. It's a pretty good record. This is on uh, this is the regular Columbia. Then a really good underrated uh, hard rock heavy metal band. This is Malice in the beginning. Pretty good record here. They're uh, you know a little little heavier than the glam rock. I actually love glam rock. That's my favorite. I like the glam rock and thrash and power metal. I like all the heavy metal genres, except for some of the modern stuff I don't care for as much. But I like a lot of the modern as well. But that's a good record there. This here is one of my favorite guitarists of all time. This is Ingve Malmsteen, Rising Force. Really good record. Just need to get his first one. But this is a killer record here. I love Ingve's guitar, kind of neoclassical mixed with heavy metal guitar style. This is a really good record. And then I've got his maxi single, um, Rising 4 Studio Live 85. And it's got I'll See the Light Tonight, which is a really good song. Uh, Far Beyond the Sun and I'm a Viking. I'm a Viking's really good too. I like this I like this record. He's one of my, like I said, one of my favorite guitarists. And then this is the album that actually introduced me to Ingve. I bought this when it first came out and I fell in love with his guitar style. It's a trilogy and it's got, you know, um, you don't remember, I'll never forget, you know, uh, really good stuff. Fury, killer guitar work. It's just, Yngwie is just amazing. And there's the Polydor label there. And then this here is a newer Yngwie one. It just came out, I think, uh, last year. It's called uh, Blue Lightning, and it's a bunch of cover songs he does. It's really good. Um, he does all these songs here, you know. Some of them are his songs, and he does a bunch of covers. Demon's Eye, the love that deep purple song you know blue jean blues from zz top purple haze why my guitar gently weeps great track list he actually does the vocals on this too which i never heard him sing he's not a, the greatest singer but it's pretty good and the guitar work alone is worth having this this is just an amazing record and i didn't even realize he there's the double record both on the blue vinyl there great great covers versions and it's just really good killer stuff on there then I got an old folk band. Um, I, really, I kind of like these guys, they're pretty good. The Mamas and the Papas, it's the self-titled. There's the 
lady there, Dunhill. And then, if you can believe your eyes and ears. And this one had Monday Monday on it, California Dreaming. Two, they're probably their two biggest hits. Same label there. And then I've got uh, My Mama's and Papa's Deliver. This one had another one of their big hits, dedicated to the one I love. They have really good harmonies. They're a good, you know, folk pop band from the late 60s, early 70s. They're really good. And then um, People Like Us. It's my last one of them. And they're all on Dunhill. And then this here is a uh, kind of an interesting band. They're a heavy metal band, but they use a violin as well. It's Mama's Boys. And they're a three piece. I, I think they were all brothers, but I'm not sure. Pretty good album here. It's it's good. It's really different. I like this one on Jive Records. And then I got a hardcore hardcore punk band, Manchurian Candidates, uh, Between Reality and Shadow. This is really hardcore punk. Pretty good stuff. This is a good record. I think it's from around 2000. And there's the other label there. And then it comes with a. Uh, with an insert here and it has the lyrics and it's kind of funny on the record here it says void is the song and on uh they spelled it wrong on the on the inserts it's uh v-o v-i-o-d they spelled it it's kind of funny but yeah this is a pretty pretty hardcore stuff here it's good it's good like i say i've always i've really gotten into punk the last few years and i like that one and then here's an album I'll never listen to. It's sealed, so I'll never, open it. you know, I'll probably sell it eventually. Barbara Mandrell, uh, Love Is Fair. Not a big fan of country, but I've got a bunch mixed into my collection. And this band I don't really know either. Not too well, anyway. It's the Manhattan Transfer, Mecca for Moderns. I think they're kind of a progressive pop soul kind of music. And then I've got one more record by them. Uh, Vocalese. And I've got one man for man's earth band, Angel Station. And he's a really good musician, great producer. I've got a bunch of, uh, yeah, he's done a lot of stuff. He's pretty good. And another one of my artists that isn't my favorite, but I got two copies of this actually. Rare Man a Little Live. Got a bunch of his big hits on there. I'm, not a big fan, but I've got it. And I am a huge fan of this band. This is uh, Man of War Battle Hymns. This is a great record here. These are all, all my Man of Wars are original copies. Or original, you know, really killer record. And then Into Glory Ride. This is a killer record. I love this one. Got, you know, Eric Adams on vocals, Scott Columbus drums. Joey DeMaio is the uh, bass player and Ross the Boss on guitars. Ross the Boss was in The Dictators before this. Inner sleeve with the lyrics. There's the label there. Yeah, I've, I really got into Man Award during Fighting the World and then I went backwards and then discovered all their other stuff and then like all their other stuff too. They're a good band. And here's a, uh, this is called all men, all men uh, play on 10. Man of War. It's like an EP single type thing. It's got, oh, it's, an, yeah, it's only a single, it's two songs, that, and then the song Mountains. And it's pretty cool. There's the label there. Yeah, I love Man of War. They're a great band. Killer stuff. And then I've got a Hail to England. Another really good one. Another single, well, this is a full length. This is Sign of the Hammer, another really good record, actually. All Men Play on 10, Animals, Thor, The Powerhead, Sign of the Hammer, good stuff. And the inner with the lyrics. Pretty cool. And there's the label. And then I've got a bootleg. This is a Hail to Scotland, a live show. And there's the track list on there. Really good sounding record. 
and it's on red vinyl, red translucent. And this is pretty cool. This is the single for Defender. It's got Defender and Glows of Metal. And this Defender sounds totally different than the Defender that's on Fighting the World. Music for Nations label. Yeah, this is pretty cool. This is good. It's uh, it's way different sounding than on, on this record here, Fighting the World. This is my favorite Man of War record. I love this album. You know, every song in this, Black Wind, Fire and Steel, Violence and Bloodshed, Drums of Doom and Holy War, that's killer, Carry On, the title song, Defender, Blow Your Speakers, great, great stuff. This is on Atco. And I have Kings of Metal Sealed, and that's also another one of my prizes for my contest. So, um, and next up I got another band I really like. This is a, a Mahogany Rush Live, Frank Marino and Mah Mahogany Rush. He's a great guitarist, very underrated. It's a gold stamp promo. This is a killer record. I love this record. White label promo even. And then I got Frank Marino and Mahogany Rush, Tales of the Unexpected, another really good one. They do, it actually does a, kicks a few covers on this one. Do They do uh, All Along the Watchtower and Norwegian Wood, the Beatles song. That's pretty cool. Good stuff here. If you've never heard uh, Mahogany Rush or Frank Marino, he's killer. Killer guitarist. This here is actually my favorite of those, and this is just a solo album. It's called Juggernaut. And I love this record. This is a badass album here. Another promo record. There's Frank Marino. Killer guitarist. He's great. Yeah, this is a good, really good album. And I got some uh, country rock here. Some uh, Marshall Tucker Band. And this one has Can't You See on it. The big hit from this one. But, you know, they're... I can handle some country if it doesn't have the twangy vocals, and this one does, they don't, and it's more of a kind of a rock mix, so I, I don't mind them, they're pretty good. And then um, here's Where We All Belong. And this is a double record here. There's the tracks. And I'll just show one of the albums here. And uh, let's say Capricorn Records. And I've got some Searching for a Rainbow. Same label. And Long Hard Ride. Carolina Dreams. This one's got that song, um, Heard It in a Love Song. That's a pretty good song, actually. And there's the band here. And then, to finish out Marshall Tucker, I've got their greatest hits. There you go. And here's a really old one here. This is a Dean Martin, Gentle On My Mind. And there's the label there. Can you freeze? And a pop guy I'm not really too fond of, but I got it. Richard Marks. Should have known better. It was a big single from this. Kind of an interesting label there, though. And here's a really good band. This is a, another one of uh, the Guitar Hero guys. This is a great guitarist. Mossy, Fire in the Rain. Really good record here. Pretty rocking stuff. There's Alex Mossy. I've always liked Mossy. And then I've got Downtown Dreamers from Mossy. Another really good one. This had God Promise of Paradise. He's a semi-hit. Good stuff here. He's a really good guitarist. Metal Blade Records. And then I've got a, a modern band. I'm actually really getting into these guys the more I hear them. This is a Mastodon, Once More Around the Sun. Killer album cover here. I'll fold it out so you can see it. Yeah, look at that. That's just amazing. Amazing artwork there. And the inside is a slight, you know, similar but slightly different there. This is a really good record. Yeah. And then we got the uh, the label here. That's kind of cool. It's a double record. Which they do with a lot of the more modern stuff, so they don't put too many on one side. And the other one looks just the same. I was just checking. 
And then here I've got a Crack the Sky. I like this one a little better, actually. This is a really good record here. I need to get more Mastodon. I only have these and that one single with uh, them and ZZ Top doing Just Got Paid, which is where I first heard Mastodon. I started liking them after I heard them doing the ZZ Top song. And there's the label there. But they're a pretty good band. I like them. And there's the start of my M's. I only got to the M8s. You know, I still got more, more of that to go. Um, yeah, I'll continue on with this and um, I've already done my Megadeth and Metallica so I'll skip skip those two bands with everything else there's a lot of really good stuff in the M's and a lot of my favorite bands um, alright rock on have a good one